Hi, my name is Daphne Jean, and I will be talking about my two British companies, Paul Smith and Land Rover. Starting off with Paul Smith, Paul Smith is a well-known British designer, mostly known for his menswear. He has dedicated to conforming to his target consumer by designing his recent collection in a variety of 1,600 items, produced in small quantities. His main goal was to be more exclusive in his brand within the public, creating behavioral residual, which changes the way British men have been dressing. This allowed him to show more items with limited quantity to grow a broader target audience so that no man would be seen with the same two shirt in public. Paul Smith also channels a few of his youthful obsessions from the 60s couture and psychedelic pop in his recent men's fall collection, which was shown along with women in the show. His collection dedicates more to suits, adding emphasis to how important it is to dress up and look special, showing that wearing suits has practical value, useful in the life of a British man traveling between the city to the suburbs or traveling to work. This appeals more to his target market between the ages of 30 through 45 years old, who is married with kids and who works in communication, art, technology, or design industry. There is many ways to purchase his collection through e-commerce, creating self-promotion within his business. My next company that I will be talking about is Land Rover. Land Rover is a very well-known British car brand. It is a multi-nation car manufactured by Jaguar Land Rover. The vehicle was inspired by the World War II Jeep designed by Maurice Wilkes. As of today, the Land Rover is a very popular vehicle. It is versatile in a variety of environments from rough terrains to driving in the snow. The emotions that Land Rover brings when driving the vehicle triggers the driver to experience a higher arousal of being in control of the vehicle. In 2013, Land Rover presented an all terrain electric Defender, which is a model that produced zero emissions which uses low speed usage that can last up to eight hours. Land Rover offers multiple financing and special leasing deals to the consumers that want to own a Land Rover. The Land Rover commercial shows advertisement that goes above and beyond to trigger the, cons the target consumer to purchase the vehicle. The, the target consumer is a male between the ages of 35 and 54 years old who is adventurous and loves to travel. He's a very successful man who may or may not have a family of his own. He's a man of versatility when it comes to the uses, usage of his car and how to maneuver it from place to place. As far as my two, my two companies coming together to collaborate, I decided to talk about the marketing campaign that Land Rover and Paul Smith will launch the rival of the Land Rover Bespoke Defender featuring Paul Smith. The collection dedicates to the Bespoke Defender which will be a series of advertising commercials that show adventurous British men driving the bespoke Defender around in the British Terrian countryside in Paul Smith clothing, clothing, presenting his clothing. The commercial will show the practical, practical value that each product shows and how useful it is to their target consumers creating emotion. The Land Rover Bespoke is a vehicle that features 27 different colors from a set of Pantone used both on the interior and exterior of the vehicle, all chosen by Paul Smith. The inspiration of the vehicle comes from the British countryside with colors that was historically used on the Defender used by the British Armed Forces. Staying true to Paul Smith's vision, the Bespoke the Defender is a mixture of leather and fabric for the seats, having a feel of luxury. The Defender will feature many small hidden details to bring its uniqueness, such as the black leather, which contrasts against the blue stitching. The object 
objective of this campaign is to create social social currency between two of these brands known in the UK. So that is what I have for my two British companies and thank you so much for watching.